Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's CS Mioven and they take on Universitati Akraiova. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And now they get the ball rolling. Chance to do damage. Will he finish? And the keeper stretching to deny him. Now a short corner here. Gives it a go. Superb block. Could be. The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Determined defending. Nistor. Will it happen for them? Moving forward effectively. And the keeper there to deal with it. And short it is. Now the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, that is how to play advantage. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about stellar keeper. They know that. Could cross it in here.
Well, far from the ideal pass. What a vital intervention. Bogdan Vatagelu. I must say, this looks promising. Chance to cross. A decent reading of that ball in and with that the attack fizzles out Nistor well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half top class defending well, they know they need to stop him Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, the referee took no to the incident and now issues the yellow card. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And taken short. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Oh, goodness me, off the post. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. If you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. And continues his run. And still pressing. Chance to play it in. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave him the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Efficient play to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to get there. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. It might be. 
the right place to cut out the pass. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. So a throw in here. And they will make the change now. He's protecting it effectively. Might really be able to trouble them here. A fine reading of the situation. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Well, he's given it away. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. Well, they're in possession now. Let's find out what they can do with the ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He's going forward well here. Must be a goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Perfectly positioned to take it away. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Nistor. That's useful play, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end.
And the ball's gone. Bogdan Vatagelu. Great opportunity. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. A lopsided contest, 4-0. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.